my channel it's Jonna here so you guys I saw makeup hack requests everywhere on my channel like I was looking for a video idea and then just like I just kept seeing makeup hacks and so finally I am coming back with some new makeup hacks that you guys will love trust me I love these let me tell you why makeup hacks are important and yes they are important you know why because it's just so you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours in front of the mirror trying to perfect your makeup there's all kinds of little tricks to make the makeup world a little bit easier. And you know us girls, like we always down for that. Keep leaving your video requests below because it really makes my life easier. And also if I choose your video request, I will shout out your channel name. So go on ahead and leave your comments below and yeah. Before we move on you guys, make sure that you follow my Instagram because I'm going to be doing a giveaway really, really soon. And also if you follow my Instagram and you comment on my latest photo, I will personally spam your account as if I'm your own personal creeper slash stalker. Just make sure that your profile is not on private and I will go on ahead and do that. And also you guys, if you genuinely enjoyed watching this video and you learned some new things, I would really appreciate if you leave a thumbs up. Leave a thumbs up if you guys want to see more of these like never seen before videos. Let's move on and let's get right into it. Okay, so first hack is how to make your very own DIY makeup setting spray using green tea for long-lasting makeup. So you'll need three things. One cup of distilled water, one organic green tea bag, and a few drops of vitamin E. Prepare one cup of green tea by steeping an organic green tea bag in hot water for 15 to 20 minutes. Allow the mix to cool down completely before moving on. Next, add three to five drops of vitamin E oil to the tea and make sure to stir it well. Transfer this mix into a spray bottle, shake it well before use and spritz it all over your face after applying your makeup to keep it smudge free and long lasting. If you didn't know, green tea is actually a natural hydrating agent. It seals moisture and can set your makeup for the whole day and a bonus is that it's great for your skin so definitely try it out. Next hack, I'm going to show you how to make a makeup organization system out of ice cube trays. Ice cube trays are actually great for storing liners, lipsticks, and mascara. All you need is an ice cube tray with compartments deep and long enough to hold your makeup supplies. This will make it more easy for you to find the products you're looking for because if you're like me, then you probably leave your makeup all over the place. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, I always do that. So this allows me to be more organized because it gives me a system. Here I use this vertical style ice cube tray to store my glosses and this one I use to store my shadows, my concealers, and all my makeup with round containers. So yeah, within a few seconds, you make a simple makeup storage system and it looks so good. So if you need a cheap alternative storage space for your makeup, ice cube trays are the way to go. Next hack, if you want longer, fuller lashes, falsies are not the only way to go. You can use a cotton ball to make your lashes more voluminous. As shocking as it sounds, this actually works. So first, grab a spoolie and stroke the inside of a cotton ball gently with the bristles until the brush is covered in cotton. And make sure the cotton is loose so that the cotton bits can easily transfer to your lashes in the next step. So before we start, coat your lashes in mascara. Next, lightly comb your lashes with the cotton spoolie like you're applying mascara. Always make sure to brush on the cotton while your mascara is still wet to help the cotton stick to your lashes better. And then lock in that layer of cotton with another coat of mascara. Keep repeating this step a couple more times to make your lashes more dramatic. And there you have it, lashes that are noticeably longer in length. I'm not gonna lie, at first I kinda doubted this, but it actually ended up working, which I was super surprised. So here's the before and after using the cotton ball technique. Such a huge difference, I definitely recommend you guys try it out. Next hack is a genius yet simple way to prevent water from dripping down your arms and splashing everywhere when removing your makeup, which we all know is so annoying. So a simple way to prevent this is to put on thick, large hair scrunchies on your wrist. The scrunchies stop the flow of water from going downwards all over your arm, sink and floor and just everywhere it shouldn't go. So as you can see here, the water scrunchie clearly swerves the water straight into the sink, preventing any mess from happening. So next time you rinse your face, make sure to try this simple life hack out. It makes all the difference in the world. Next is a really weird trick I once heard from my grandma back in the day to get smoother, fuller looking lips by applying oil to your belly button. It might sound unbelievable at first, but applying mustard oil to your belly button is a remedy to get rid of dry chapped lips, which makes a lot of sense because if you didn't know, all our veins are connected to our belly button, which makes it the focal point of our body. So I could see why this works. So what you do is apply two to three drops of mustard oil on your belly button, leave it on overnight, and in the morning you will find you have pinker, smoother lips. Let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. 
Next, is your bathroom counter always cluttered with random makeup brushes, eyeliner, and mascara everywhere? Here's a fix for that. Use a suction bath caddy to hang up your makeup supplies to increase counter space. Not only will this save you a bunch of space, but it will also be more easy for you to find the products you're looking for. So just clean it onto your mirror and add your favorite most used makeup products in it. And that's it. Extra storage for your makeup. It's super sturdy and it's perfect for keeping your makeup exposed yet organized at all times. So next hack is a way to lock your mascara into place while your lashes are freshly curled. After using a heated curler and applying a coat of mascara, blast your lashes from underneath with a blow dryer on low cool setting. A cool shot of air will dry and lock your mascara, therefore keeping your lashes curled in place exactly how you style them with your eyelash curler. This will last until you remove your makeup. It's so great for those who have stubbornly straight lashes, so definitely try this out. Next is a bonus hack. In my last Makeup Hacks You've Never Seen Before video, I show you how to make a simple DIY eyeliner stencil for those who have trouble applying liquid liner. I'll be linking the video below in the description box. If you like this video, you will for sure like this one as well. So go on ahead and check that out. So yeah guys, that was all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please let me know in the comments below which hack do you see yourself using the most out of all of them. The hack that I see myself using is the cotton ball hack. I think that's genius and it actually works. So yeah, that's the one I'm going to be using. So which one are you going to be using? It's time to get my top three comment shout out from my last video. So shout out to Mona17. Thank you so much. That was so sweet. Kyra Rich. Thank you so much, Kyra. Kim Donker. Thank you so much, Kim. And also shout out to Beauty Pro One. Thank you so much, you guys, for your beautiful comments. I really appreciate every single one of them. You guys have no idea. You guys are gonna like make me tear up. But yeah, thank you guys so much. Um, I really appreciate reading every single one of the comments. So thank you. Make sure to leave your comments below because I will possibly shout you out. Whether it's a video suggestions, video request, or whatever it is, um, I will possibly shout you out. So go ahead and do that. So that's all for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye. Guys.